Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Hello world and welcome to my channel. Be sure to uh, find new content every Sunday and Monday and be sure to find me on social media. Well, happy Memorial Day weekend everybody. How are things going? Um, I know they're, they're fine for me, they're very laid back, but I wanted to apologize to those of you that have uh, been following my YouTube channel. I know that you're expecting to see new content every day at 8.30 a.m. Well, the truth is, I just uh, have decided to take a break, even though I have lots and lots of content and lots and lots of footage that I need to edit, and I just haven't been in the mood to do that. So, at some point today, I think I'm going to um, upload as much content as possible and then get up tomorrow morning and uh, put that video up. Uh, and then I want to uh, make sure I have everything downloaded to my hard drive by the time I uh, get it posted to my um, YouTube channel right at 830. And then I also want to um, get back and write that blog on WordPress.com because um, I really want to start selling my work to uh, the Future Horizons, I mean, I'll, which is uh, the publishing company that works with Temple Grandin and a friend Nita Lesko. And, being that um, I'm going to be requesting a press pass, they're going to want to know what I do. So I need to make sure I am talking to the right people. I mean, I left a message or, sh or I shot an email uh, uh, earlier this week with, uh, with the director of the conferences, and the, she's the liaison of uh, Future Horizons. And I mean, I'm, I've been networked with her for quite a few years because I just uh, I, uh, I usually go to a lot of talks by Temple Grandin, and being that I'm call an extrovert, um, and I like to network with people. I had a chance to not only network with Temple, but I networked with uh, Future Horizons as well. And I uh, wanted them to come to our autism conference for uh, quite a few years now, and we finally got them to come this year at our conference. So that's how I uh, connected with uh, Teresa. So I'm just uh, waiting to hear back from her. So. Anyway, why in the world I haven't been vlogging? Number one, I just I haven't been sleeping very well at night. And number two, I've just been trying to take care of myself. Number three, I've been really distracted in terms of traveling. I mean, I'm just really giddy to get out of Atlanta um, and go on a couple of uh, vacation destinations. And then I'm getting ready to take two classes online this summer. And I'm just, uh, I'm super psyched about that. But whenever I travel, I get really giddy. And then, and then I'm going to school, so it's like my life is returning. And uh, actually, I have a story about my GoFundMe. So my uh, my Miami campaign that uh, that I posted uh, last or earlier this week. Uh, within a few minutes of that, I started sharing on Twitter, which is what you're supposed to do. And um, I got a nasty attack from uh, another vlogger by the name of Vmuse Backpacker, and uh, I looked him up, and he's uh, very, very self-absorbed and very, very, uh, very puffed up. Yeah, he's this over-muscular jerk that uh, thinks he's superior to everybody else because number one, he's a public speaker, and number number two, he's been all over the world. He knows the ins and outs of travel, but. Anyway, he attacked me on Twitter earlier this week, and he said to me that uh, uh, 
I hate, I hate these biggie campaigns. Work for your travels like everybody else. And so I wrote back to him and I said, well, sir, you don't know me. Um, and you really hurt my feelings. So um, I was really mad at him. So I looked him up and I discovered that uh, he's, uh, yes, he's got over 15,000 subscribers on his Twitter page. But I've noticed that his uh, books that he's uh, posting about on his Twitter, they don't have any reviews on Amazon.com. And then I went and I listened to uh, his uh, YouTube channel on BB, uh, BB News Backpacker. Honestly, the guy has no personality. He doesn't even smile in any of his videos. And I mean, my friends who I shared that, wait, took a screenshot and shared that tweet with, they called him a hater. So, the amused, the amused backpacker, if you're watching this video, I have something to say to you. Hi, hater. So, anyway, um, without further delay, as I'd like to change the su subject back to Miami and how I'm going to get there. So, I just decided uh, not to raise $500 for the trip because it's just not worth it. What I'm really needing to do is just to get to and from Miami and just have a place to sleep at night and go to uh, Temple's Talk and vlog. It's, just, it's more of like a, I'm traveling, I mean, not, not for work at Georgia State, but creating blogs is building a brand for myself and that is work. So it's pretty much that I'm going on a business trip. And I, it's not a vacation. And really, the Chicago trip wasn't either. And it's not a, it wasn't a vacation either. It's just a, I just got a really good deal on that flight uh, a few days before Temple's talk. So I have a chance to kill some time in Chi Town. But what I decided to do is I just booked my hotel at the same venue where Temple and Anita Lesko are doing their talks. And I just decided to raise money for the hotel room because that's kind of expensive. So if you click on the link below, you can find, uh, or if you click on the hashtag below, you can find the video, uh, or you can find the link, which is uh, uh, hello world with Maya in Miami. That's hello world with Maya in Miami. So I'm, I'm looking to raise $155 for this. And then I am still, uh, raising a little more money so I can go to uh, Chi Town. And so far I raised uh, $225. I just have uh, $75 more to uh, that I'd like to raise for this event. Uh, in my, when I, I was thinking about getting myself a city pass and then going to all the exhibits, but I just decided to go for uh, one attraction, which is the, the Adler Planetarium. Being that I'm interested in studying astronomy uh, and, and statistics and math, because uh, I just have a feeling to go that route after I get my bachelor's degree. So I'm doing that. And then I found out that there are just a lot of free things in Chicago that I can do, like going for a walk. And then I learned that Airbnb, they don't, they don't only just offer accommodations for people, they also offer, um, I don't know what you call it, um, they also offer uh, uh, experiences that you can go on, like one of them is, uh, is an experience, like a tour riding around the North Shore of Lake Michigan on a boosted board or an electric skateboard. And being that uh, that I've always wanted to try those and I always wanted to blog about it and uh, do it Casey Neistat style with the sunglasses, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, um, so I'm just really excited about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, getting back to uh, the hater piece, uh, I got a... Uh, Another piece, I got a thumbs down on one of my videos that I'm hoping I can raise a lot of awareness on, which is my tips from first class. And uh, the, I had the funniest insult from one of my viewers, and they uh, thought it would be funny instead of uh, putting me down and saying I'm stupid, they were sarcastic, and they said to me, uh, nice hair, uh, nice hair, comma, honey. And I wrote back and I, uh, I told them, thank you. I told them thank you and that uh, the reason why I dyed my hair was because I wanted to take a walk on the wild side and I wanted to, uh, I don't know, 
I just uh, wanted to try something a little wild and crazy because people do silly stuff on YouTube all the time that you, that you don't even think of. And, and people were eating Tide Pods, which, which is dumb. But people are doing the ice bucket challenge. I mean, people are doing makeovers. So I decided to dye my hair uh, back in March for those reasons. But I just, being that uh, I'm a professional, I mean, the, the cool hair is great. Um, I'm just getting tired of it. I want to see my natural hair again, and I just, I mean, the pink is great, but I absolutely hate this blonde. So, um, later today, I'm going to go and get a chopped off, or chop off with most of it, and see if I can find a um, color remover and put that in my hair later today. So, anyway, uh, if you would like to make donations to my two experiences, uh, I'm going to see, sh going to blog about Temple and, and the things that to the table about autism, um, you can go on the links below. Uh, you can also follow my hashtags on Twitter, and, uh, and I also know too that I'm not a beggar. Uh, for those of you that are finding my GoFundMe account calling me bigger that I'm asking people for money, first of all, you don't know me. I am employed at a major university. I'm a research assistant and project assistant, which is separate from this, at a university, and then... Um, I'm also a leader in the autistic community. Um, someone just suggested to me to uh, put these blogs on, but um, I'm just raising the money right now because I'm part-time at Georgia State University. Uh, so uh, you want to hear my story, uh, don't complain, just click the link or shut up. <laughs>